More local story now. The film adaptation of former South African President Nelson Mandela's autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, will be released to South African audiences next week, Thursday. Now, the film is produced by local production company Video Vision and is an example of the local film industry gaining weight of, uh, or of the and of rather and contributing to the economy, job creation, as well as international artistic cinema community. CNB Africa had this report to file. I have beautiful children and a beautiful wife. I want them to walk free in their own land. The much-awaited film adaption of Long Walk to Freedom is a project almost two decades in the making. Durban-based television and film producer Anant Singh first interviewed former statesman and freedom fighter Nelson Mandela shortly after he was released from prison in 1990. Mandela's autobiography was published four years yeah, later. We have power. You think you're smart, don't you? I can't be that smart, otherwise I wouldn't be here. We can't fall any further. The people are angry. We are all angry. Long Walk to Freedom is an independent South African film shot on location using mainly South African film industry services, and it is one of many. A recent report by financial services firm Deloitte found that the industry contributed three and a half billion rand towards the country's gross domestic product, or 2%, and created over 25,000 jobs last year alone. But it really has come into its own in the last while. And obviously, one of the big factors that is assisting the film industry in the country is the value of the rand, because the moment the rand actually goes down, it creates a much, much more favorable climate in terms of your dollar rand exchange rate. So aside from the incredible repository of talent and, and equipment and world-class uh, amenities and, and human resources that are available, with the rand either going down or, or certainly settling at a fairly low position, the film industry in this country is, is just booming. The depreciation of the rand over the past two years coincides with a surge in the number of films being shot in the country. Deloitte found that more than 60 films were shot during 2012, the first full year of solid rand depreciation, and has almost doubled during the past five years. I think that one of the, one of the major, major uh, plus factors in the country is what's called the DTI rebate. And the DTI rebate obviously creates a climate in which companies can come or, 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 or studios can come from anywhere around the world and have a hugely competitive opportunity to make a film in this country for a budget that they could never make in their home country. Well, according to a Reuters report, 20th Century Fox production Chronicle, shot in Cape Town during 2010, 130 million US dollars at box office and was filmed on a budget of 10 million dollars. Meanwhile, more international studios are finding a temporary home at the Cape Town Film Studios. Uh, we found incredible locations uh, and were able to secure them. There are very few places in town that are not film friendly. I'm amazed driving around town, the number of companies that I see shooting, the number of uh, uh, commercial people sitting in the lobby of the hotels that, uh, that we visit, uh, working out uh, their stuff and, and, and seeing everywhere you go. You know, you, you, you see the trucks when you've been in the business as long as I have. Uh, you know, your head turns, you say, ah, there, they're shooting. And that happens all the time here. I am amazed by the amount of production. This is the largest commercial production center in the world, which I did not know. And, uh, and, and we had trouble even getting a lot, a lot of crew members because there was so much work here to choose from that literally the pool had evaporated, uh, which is a sign of a thriving industry. South Africa's film industry now ranks 50th out of the economy's 99 major sectors and has been identified as a growth industry. Brian's film is being produced by Warner Brothers, although the title and cast are not yet public knowledge. Another reason why Warner opted for the Western Cape as a location is because of the natural beauty of the region. I think uh, one of the things I look for in a film when I go on a location is um, finding exotic you know, environments, whether it's the, the locations themselves, um, the, uh, the sets that are built, uh, something that makes the film distinctive um, and 
and I think that's um, you know one of the things that we're going to see here. The the architecture is is really interesting. You know, there's so much Dutch influence on it um, that it gives everything just that little extra something that makes it unique. Foreign film productions in South Africa are thriving. The natural progression of the industry from this point will be the production of local films which up until now have enjoyed a relatively niche audience both at home and overseas. The release of Long Walk to Freedom next week is one small step towards this goal. I hope that like other places that have started uh, you know, as service industries uh, have the infrastructure and, and begin to develop the people who want to tell their stories. And there are a lot of stories that come out of here.